it going lads? My name is Caterpillar bringing you a brand new video. I've been playing Game Dev Tycoon a lot recently. Um, I think I'm a little bit hooked on it and you are probably too. This, this, this game is a game, just games like this I love and I get hooked on them so easily but they're just so much fun to play. Holy shit. Let's go up a dead dope. But this is just my business. Uh, I think I've been playing the past I think this is like a day and we have 360,000 fans 75.5 million dollars so it's great but what this video is about guys is um i was looking through forums online i think it was the actual developer released this sort of tip forum and the playstation is still gonna be taken no 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 but you release some sort of tips or a strategy for um you can use in this game and I've been using it so far and it is absolutely amazing. The sales absolutely go through the roof. And I wish I had found this strategy from when I started the game. So that's what I'm going to do you guys, do for you guys. If if you've only started the game and are struggling to make the perfect game, to make a good game, then uh, this video is definitely for you. I'm going to show you how to make a successful game developer business. And so what I've done, guys, is I started up a new game. Where, where am I? Where am I? Here we go. The name of it is Give Me Your Money, and I tried out one game real quick. I made one game, and I'm just gonna show you real quick, just using this strategy. First game ever made, I got an 8.25 rating. Top sales rank, I got to 18th, and I made 162.6 thousand on this game. 131 thousand profit. For a first game, that is absolutely amazing, and I gained a total of 194 fans for it. Like what? 23,000 units sold. First game ever made. Super Panda. In my garage. That is amazing. So we're going to go through real quick guys. I'm going to show you. We're going to develop a new game. And I'm going to show you guys basically what to do. To maximize the outcome of your game. To make the best game you possibly can. So follow me. Now obviously when you get through the game you unlock a lot more platforms. But... For now, I'm gonna go with, holy shit, the G64. So you're gonna wanna look at the market share. 57% this one's getting, the G64 is getting. So that's gonna be getting more sales than the PC. So it's a good idea to go with that. But the developer cost is 20K in this and only 5K on the PC. So that's up to you. If you have, haven't got enough money, then go with the PC. But I'm rocking the money now because I made a Smash and Force game. So we're gonna go for the G64. Genre, this is what you're gonna want to do, right? Actually, topic force because I don't have much topic, so let's go through real quick. What have we got? Mystery game, and in this forum, guys, um, I have a link down below for you. So you click onto that, and it's gonna show you. I'll even have it up on the screen all the different um genres it'll have under it what games they link up with. So like when you're making a game, if you're playing adventure, adventure would link up great with superhero. So it'll be a superhero adventure game. And that would obviously make the game better because it's a great link. Do you know what I mean? It's like playing, ah, uh, what's a good sort of, like Forza for the Xbox. That's hardly gonna be like an action game. Do you know what I mean? That's a simulation game. It's like a racing simulation game and that's what makes it work. So that's what you're gonna wanna do in this. So adventure, Links in with comedy, detective, fantasy, law, life, medieval, mystery, pirate, prison, romance, sci-fi, school, spy, time, travel, and zombies. So we're going to go with adventure. So it's going to be a mystery adventure game on the G64 called Find My Shoes. So this game is going to be an adventure mystery on the G64 called Find My Shoes. We're gonna go on an adventure to go find my lost shoes that I lost on the night out. This next part, guys, is the most important part. Right? You thought the first part is like, oh yeah, no problem, just link them up. Perfect game. No. These stupid bars, how are you supposed to know which is which? Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, do I put this one up here, this one down there? Well, in this form, it tells you exactly what to do. So if you're making an adventure game, you go onto this form, scroll down to adventure, I'll show you now. And then there you go. So for phase one, this is phase one. Development stage one means phase one. So what you're gonna wanna do is put your engine down to zero. So just put that right down to the bottom. Then you're gonna get your gameplay down to zero. 
and then your story mode is gonna story slash quests is gonna be right up to the top okay and then all you do is click okay he's gonna do his stuff he's gonna collect all he's gonna collect all those bubbles and all that stuff um oh they're gonna make their own system sweet very nice there we go holy shit stage two that was that was quick that was quicker than i thought so for stage two and for adventure you're gonna want to put the dialogue right up to the top see this thing here where it has the three pluses and the question mark that's taken over from my other save like you can carry your hints over so throughout the game you'll unlock hints and like the game sort of figures out whether dialogue is important so three pluses so that means yeah dialogue is really important so put dialogue up to the top so that's helpful as well for you guys level design you're going to want to put that right down to the bottom and then ai you're going to want to put that right down to the bottom as well so all this is focused on is dialogue for this adventure okay again let's see how it does this game this this game could be another absolute smash hit you know right then for stage three when you get through the game you can unlock new selected features and stuff but because we're only starting off we don't have that yet so we're just going to stick with this strategy so adventure phase three you're going to put world design up to 100 your graphics to around 80 now you don't really know exactly what 80 percent is but just sort of go like obviously this is like 50 do you know what i mean so i just sort of do it around here that looks like 80 percent doesn't it and then you're going to put sound down to zero and press ok so that's the final stage let's cross our fingers here another quick tip as well when you're uh, finishing your game there you can click finish don't click that right away because bugs if you have bugs obviously that's bad wait for your bugs to go down and then i give it another about five or ten seconds before i click finish just in case because another bug could jump in i wonder if he'll demonstrate oh Nintendo have a new console very nice thanks very much for that and can we do it there we go no bugs in the game so let's see so we got a new record for design, which is absolutely amazing. New topic, new combo, bonus. Pretty awesome, pretty sweet. Like as you guys see, I'm nearly like level two on everything. Like I'm halfway up the levels already. And this is only my second game. So let's see what or how this game go does. My luck, it'll just do terrible for you guys. The force went absolutely amazing. So here we go. Here's the reviews, right? Let's cross our fingers. Let's cross our fingers. Come on. Eight. That is absolutely amazing for like being in your garage. Holy shit. Another eight. Played it for days. Mission Adventure is a great combination. Played it for days. Love it. Oh my god. Is this going to be a solid eight? You fucker. Thought it was going to be a solid eight. But they said beautiful. So guys. What's the rating for that? I don't know. 7.9 probably. That is absolutely amazing. He's in his garage. It's a second game that he made. Holy crap. Just look, just take a second to absolutely look at those sales coming in. And that proves, guys, that this strategy works. That is absolutely amazing. Let's let let this run out. We're gonna do uh another tip, guys. Get your generate your game report after every game you finish. 7.75 rain. We got to 14 profits so far, 85k. Holy moly. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep playing on this save game because this is gonna be even more successful than my last one. Holy moly. That's gonna be amazing. Sweet. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Nice. Well guys, I'm gonna let this run out until the game goes off the market and then give you guys an overview of how actually good overall this went with profit and stuff like that. Oh, there we go, that was quick. Excuse me, moi. So you're gonna go on to game history there you go so with that whole we got the top 13 game in the world from this dude in a garage what we gained 244 fans 7.75 rating right let's go over the top right we got 27,000 units sold is that better than the second first one yeah better than the first one uh it cost us 62,000 we made 188,000 what the fuck and then our profit was 126,000 so there you go that's successful we're up to 254k 438 fans and it's only our second game so i hope those good i hope those tips helped you out guys lads and lesses and um, if they did 
I want you to do me a favor. Absolutely smash that like button. If you have any other friends out there that um, are playing this game and have the same problems, then definitely share this video on social media with them. That would be absolutely amazing. Also, if you want to see more games like this, or want to see me play more of this game specifically, then let me know in the comment section below. And subscribe if you want to stick around, because I have other great com uh, content. I was going to say comedy there, that doesn't really make sense. You could say I'm comedic a little bit, but I don't know. But I have other great com- uh, com there we go. I'm going again. Check out my channel. Do you know what? Just, just click on my channel and look at my other videos if you want, okay? But that being said, guys, I hope this helped you. I hope you have an amazing day. My name is Caterpillar, and hopefully, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.